Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Forenza, aka the girl with big hair. Ow! I'm back with another video. The first video of 2020. And I'm very excited about it. You know, I decided to, you know, try to be a real influencer. Because <sighs> I'm not, you know, I'm like, what they call it? No, they call it, they call the ones with like 10k subscribers like micro influencers right if that's micro influencers i'm like what's smaller than micro invisible <laughs> i don't i don't even know what's smaller than micro but whatever is smaller than micro is what i am that's the type of influence blank influencer that's what i am two thousand years later i am going to do what i have seen a few influencers do on their channel um and do a nice little challenge or whatever i posted a few polls up on my instagram story yesterday and i asked people to vote on um one of two things um and i am letting my instagram followers choose my makeup so y'all are the ones who created this look if you are not following me on Instagram, you should probably go ahead and do that. Go ahead and open up your phone, click on the Instagram app, click on the little um, explore button at the bottom, type in the girl W big hair, and hit follow. That's all you gotta do. I asked my Instagram followers to choose my makeup, um, and I was actually pretty overwhelmed by the number of responses that I got. I was not expecting to have that, but I think maybe like around 50 people responded. I'm very excited to get started with this look. Um, before I forget, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and make sure you hit the little bell button next to it so that you can get notified when I post new videos. Okay, so the first thing that I asked my followers to do was to choose a foundation. And the options that I gave were either drugstore or high-end. And the overwhelming <laughs> um, outcome was drugstore. 73% um, of you chose drugstore um and i'm assuming that it's because a lot of my followers are just really interested in how to have a beat face on a budget so i stopped off at walmart um and picked up a foundation that i have been seeing for a while in the stores but had never tried it i got the covergirl true blend matte made foundation i got it in the shade t60 which i think is warm sun so i think that this um i think i ended up paying let's see i think i have the receipt uh oh it must have been on sale it was um it was on sale for seven dollars and 94 cent from walmart so for the price that i paid i am really hoping that it wears well all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it um this bottle has a pump which I appreciate. Um, let me just shake it up a little bit. I'm gonna, it locks too. So if you turn it this way, you can't pump, but if you turn it this way, you can. So I'm going to, okay. I'm gonna do like two pumps. So that was two pumps, which was not a lot of product. I didn't put any on my forehead yet. Um, and to be honest, the coverage is not that great. It says that it is 12 hour comfort matte, pore minimizing, oil control. I'm excited about that. Transfer resistant, interesting. Um, and then it's available in 40 shades, but it is not, um, it's not claiming to be full, medium, or light coverage. But with that said, I'm going to add another two pumps because I need it. And I'm just going to put that on my forehead as usual. But then I'm going to double up on the areas that I, I have more um, 
or need more coverage rather. The next thing that I asked you guys about was whether or not I should use a translucent setting powder or a banana setting powder. And this one was almost 50-50 split. It ended up winning, um, or rather the translucent powder ended up winning. Um, so I am actually gonna go into one of my favorites, which is the RCMA um, No Color Powder to just set that foundation. Then I'm gonna set my highlighted areas as well. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit while I do my brows. The brows were the next thing that I asked you guys about. Um, this one was also almost 50-50 split, but the powder ended up winning. Um, I was hoping that y'all said gel because I haven't used a gel, um, like a pomade type situation on my eyebrows in a really long time. It used to be my go-to, um, but I discovered the brow powder from, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, which is what I'm planning to use today. Um, and I have loved it. Um, please excuse my eyebrows. I am letting them grow out. So y'all just gonna have to be okay with the bushiness that is my brows today. Thanks. So the next thing I asked you guys about was whether or not I should do a cut crease. I've been wanting to do this for, or I've been wanting to do a cut crease on camera for a while, like on my channel, and I haven't done one yet, I don't think. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off. This actually might be the palette that I stick with for the most part today, but um, this is the Warrior 2 palette by Juvia's Place. This ain't new to my channel, y'all know I love Juvia's Place, but I'm actually gonna start off with the shade Yodi, which is this top um, brown shade here. And I'm just gonna make that um, the, like right above my crease area. I'm gonna take my Morphe M505 brush, which is a pointed tapered brush, um, and put that color right above my crease. Then I'm gonna take um, my Morphe M518 brush, which is a, I guess a smaller fluffy brush. I don't know, it might actually not be small. And I'm gonna take this color here, which is Dara, Dara, um, and this like peachy, it's actually almost the same color as my sweater, like a, um, a blush color. Um, it does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but all good. Um, and I'm actually gonna use that to blend out this brown color. I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe 505 brush. Um, and I'm gonna actually go into the color Kuf, uh, Kufuru, which is this brown color here. And I'm gonna put that right in my crease to deepen up that uh, brown that I used the first time. I'm gonna take my Morphe M507, which is a really small tapered blending brush, and I'm gonna use that to blend out the brown around the edges, because I don't want it to be super blown out. Um, and I wanna make sure that that um, salmon color doesn't get lost, or that blush color doesn't get lost. All right, and then I'm gonna take my a smaller brush. Hmm. 
This is also a Lemoore brush from the same set as the fluffy one. Um, and it's a tapered blending brush, um, similar to the Morphe one I was just using, but it's a little uh, shorter so that's and more dense, I think. So that's why I'm, I'm choosing this one. And I'm actually going to go into the shade Walzana, which is this, um, like an off black right here. And that I'm also going to put right un, um, underneath of the brown color to deepen it up just a little bit more. Again, I'm just stamping that in. I'm not actually blending it. So now I'm going to take, go back with my, um, well, actually, I'm going to take my Morphe M165 brush, which is a tapered, um, or not a tapered, sorry, an ankle brush. And I'm going to take the concealer again, um, because this is where we cut our crease. Um, and I am going to go ahead and carve out the crease for both of my eyes. Okay, so now that the crease is cut, I'm actually gonna take this color Kana down here which is like this mauve tan. It's hard to describe, but I'm gonna take that and just put that where I just cut the crease. All right, I'm gonna go back with my um, five, M505 brush and I'm going to take that um, I'm sorry I'm going to take this dark color here which um, was Walzana and I'm going to just blend out the cut crease so I'm focusing that on my outer V All right, so my favorite part of any look is the lashes. And I asked y'all if y'all wanted natural lashes or if y'all wanted me to give drama sis. And 76% of you guys said that you wanted to give wanted me to give drama. So that's what I'm giving y'all. I have the Ilore London Vegas Nay lashes. Um, I have never used a lash. I don't think that looks like this. So I feel like this is about to be super, super drama. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop these things on. I'll be right back. So the final thing that you guys picked for me was my lipstick. Um, and I gave you guys the choice between a, um, matte lipstick or a glossy lipstick. And I'm actually surprised by this. Um, 71% of you guys said that you would like to see a matte lippy, so I'm going to get it to y'all. Um, I just got some new lipsticks from, my nose keeps running, come on. Um, I just got some lipsticks from Juvia's Place, and I actually used this color in the shade, um, or rather in the, uh, metallic shade. Uh, for a look that I just recently did on my YouTube channel um, and it is in the shade Candice but the one that I'm using today is the matte version of that same lipstick completely different colors in my opinion but we're going to roll with it I am going to line my lip with a lip liner if I can find the one that I would like to use here we go and I'm just going to take a brown lip liner this is a NYX uh, suede lip liner in the shade uh, Club Hopper.
right, guys. So this is the final look. Thank y'all so much. Like y'all did that. Look at this. Get into this cut crease. I think that this foundation is really good. And I really do think that it's actually going to be transfer proof. Like it said, I mean, it feels like my skin. It is very matte. It doesn't feel wet like some foundations do after a while, especially if you have oily skin. So I might actually do a wear test of this one day. I'm not going anywhere today, but um, I might wear this out one day to see how it actually wears. Y'all did a good job. Thank you guys so much for participating in my polls on Instagram. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram make sure you head on over there and hit that uh, explore button so that you can type in the girl W big hair and you can follow me on Instagram and if you're not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do that because like you gonna miss out on all the good content this year it's about to be lit so if you're not subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell button next to it so that you can get notified when I post new videos thank you guys so much I'll see you next time bye